bastard. Joker. <sighs> Feels like another record cold snap on the way. I'd better get a fire going before the pipes freeze up again. Best flights may be behind you, but you're still beautiful to me. And anyways, you're all I've got. I'd sure love to give you one last great adventure. Jackrabbit Remote Transport. Zero flights a day to the mainland communities and, well, anywhere. Electric crap. 
never works when you need it. Parker this early in the season. It seems to get colder every year. Getting pretty late in the day. Guess I could take a nap. Jackrabbit Remote Transport, Mackenzie speaking. I told her not to come up. I told her you couldn't fly in this weather. For once, will you not be so damn Well, well, slow down, Marie. What are you talking about? She just showed up. Said you'd see her. Said you'd fly her north. I know you need the money. But the weather service... It's okay, Marie. I've got it from here. Since. I know. I know. And I wouldn't be here if it weren't important. Well, what brings you... I mean, are you sick? <laughs> no. No, not me. But I need to get to someone who is. Right. So you're still a doctor? Yes, I'm still a doctor. I thought that after... Why are you here? I need your help. There's an isolated community in the northern part of Great Bear. Someone there is very sick. Great and Bear? There's nothing there anymore. Not since... I know. But I have to get there. Still trying to save the world, huh? Somebody has to. What's that supposed to mean? Mackenzie... Uh, Will... I didn't come here to fight about the past. I need a pilot to take me somewhere remote. Someone who won't ask too many questions. Someone I can trust. Wait, questions? Astrid, are you in trouble? Are you gonna help me or not? What's in the case? See, there's that thing about no questions, remember? What's in the case, Astrid? No questions. Look, the weather out there is bad. Bad when it's getting worse. You walk in here after years. I could have been dead. You could have been. And then you show up and you want me to just risk my life flying into the middle of the great northern nowhere to deliver you in some mystery metal case to some remote wilderness outpost. All because you walked in here and asked me to? Yes. Astrid, you can't bring him back. This isn't about that. I know how hard it's been. No. You don't know, Mackenzie. You don't know anything. You don't think I feel it too? Are you gonna take me or not? The longer I wait, the worse it'll get. Damn it. I don't have time for this. Wait. The worse what will get? Why do I have a feeling you're not talking about the weather? Because I'm not... Throw your bags in the plane. I'll get started on pre-flight. Better buckle up tight, because it's going to be a rough ride.
Let's see. Two people plus enough fuel to get us out to Great Bear and back leaves. Hmm. Almost no capacity for cargo. If we're too heavy, we'll burn through our fuel before we get there. I'll have to be careful about what else I take with me. bars, purification tablets. Breakfast of champions. Astrid's a doctor, so we're covered there. But probably best to have some extra meds just in case. The distress pistol kit is heavy, but I'd hate to end up in an emergency situation without it. Astrid's traveling pretty light. Wherever she's going, she must not be planning to stay long. The mysterious case. Astrid definitely doesn't want to talk about what's inside. Which means she's probably not supposed to have it. Grab my parka and we can go. Question your life choices, Mackenzie. Plenty of things you could be doing besides hanging out in your dad's old plane and drinking in the daytime. Hey, we had a lot of good times in this plane. And it's under control. I know, okay? I'm not here to fight, really. Astrid. 
must have gone right through the windshield. Trees broke my fall. Oh, mostly. Feels so good. I need to rest up. Astrid hasn't come looking for me, which means she can't come looking for me, because she's hurt, or worse. I'd better get back up to the crash site. Probably climb that. sure which of us looks worse. Poor girl. This isn't how things were supposed to end. Excellent. That 
looking for you. Astrid's back. In this case, Astrid was ready to die for it. I hope she hasn't already died for it. Definitely passed through here, and in a hurry. Recently. Could it have been Astrid? some kind of radio tower. I must be closer to civilization than I thought.
never felt so cold in my life. Someone's just sitting here, frozen. What the hell? Great, a town. Maybe I can find help there. Anybody here? Hey. Hey, wake up. Holy shit! Uh, wait! Hold your fire! Get back. O okay, okay. Just take it easy. Why are you here? I saw the smoke from your chimney. Outsider. Uh, what? <laughs> Thought so. Mainlander. Outsider. I don't recognize your voice. And you haven't left like the others. So, must be a Mainlander. Someone who doesn't know any better. My plane... I I crashed in the mountains nearby. I'm looking for someone who crashed with me. A friend. She might be injured. I haven't seen her. Uh, listen, could you maybe point that gun someplace else? You think? Because my eyes are covered, I can't see you. Make the wrong move. Say the wrong thing. You'll see how good a shot I am. I don't doubt it. The others are all gone. If you're here, things must be worse than they thought. Name's Mackenzie, by the way. And you are? I had a name once. But for years, the townsfolk have called me Grey Mother. A name takes on its own life. Such that at one point, the name becomes the thing it belongs to. Then the old names fade. Can only be remembered by the young and the true. So, I should call you... You should call me Grey Mother also. Where are we? No, um, a forgotten town deep in the mountains. You're far from home. But uh, where are we on Great Bear? 
My plane came down in a storm, and my compass was acting funny. I've lived here all my life. Not much use for the outside world. Milton's the last of the old mountain towns. Now, it's almost impossible to get to. Or get out of. Only people left here are either too poor or too proud to leave. Which are you? I have what I need. At least I did before the bad man came. Now I'm not sure I have enough to get through the winter. I need to find my friend, but I'll do what I can to help. My mind is fuzzy. Some things come through so sharp, others. Like a dream. Let me think. Let me rest. Maybe I can pull some memories out of the fog. Maybe I can find something that could help you find your friend. The town seems so quiet. Does anyone still live here? Not many. After the earthquakes, less. After last night, even fewer. Where did everyone go? That I cannot say. All I know is that I heard screams and could smell smoke for most of the night. You mentioned smelling smoke? Someone came here. One of the townsfolk tried to convince me to leave. They said there were houses burning in the town. They said people were scared and were leaving for the coast. <laughs> On foot. Foolish plan. But that's what they said to do after the quakes. If there was ever another emergency, go to the coast and help will come. They wanted me to go with but I'm not ready to leave Milton. They left you here? Alone? I'm not alone. I have my Lily. Lily? Never mind. Sitting here with a rifle in your hand. Are you expecting trouble? Trouble? <laughs> trouble found me. You mean the storm? The bad men. The bad men came. Took my things. Tried to take my house. They thought they were safe. Because Grey Mother can't see. <laughs> they were wrong. Who are the bad men? The men. They, they passed through town. The night of the storm. The night of the light. I'm looking for my friend. She crashed with me when my plane came down in the mountains. Do you think she could have come through and been caught by these bad men? I can't say for sure. Is your friend a survivor? I... Yes. She is. And there is always hope. The bad men. Did they try to hurt you? Everyone thinks being old means you're weak. But they underestimated Grey Mother. It seems they did. Okay. Well, any idea how I can get out of this town? I need to find help. The old quake closed down most of the roads in and out of town. That was years ago. Blizzard just swept through town after the power went out. As for help, you won't find any out there. You're on your own. 
Lord Mothar. I crashed without much food or gear myself. And if these bad men cleaned you up, we're gonna need to find some food and fuel. Or neither of us is gonna make it through the next few days. You have any idea where we could find some supplies? The bad men took everything. And the others in town who would have helped me are gone. The ones left will have their own worries. It's up to you, outsider. I'll do what I can, but I'll need your help. There must be somewhere in town to get food, fuel, the essentials. What about your friend? Aren't you in a hurry to find her? Yes, I am. And I'll be looking for signs of her. But there's a lot of ground to cover. And without gear, I won't make it. So while I'm looking for supplies, you see what you can remember about the Night of the Lights, and if she might have passed through town. That way, maybe we can help each other. Okay, outsider. Grandmother can't promise she can unlock the secrets in the dark cupboards of her mind. But she'll try.